Now, usually when I say to people meditation, uh, they go, yeah, I can see how that's a really fantastic tool for my toolkit, but they say one of two things, either, but my mind is way too busy, there's no way I can meditate, or they say, um, it's just not for me, it's just a bit woo-woo, a bit out there, I'm not, not into that. And so really that's my passion at, uh, with B is, is about how to make meditation attainable and accessible so it feels like something that's relevant and that you can actually do. Because I, I do actually have some sympathy with both of those kind of um, objections in that there are a lot of misconceptions about what meditation is and how it can work. So that's really the sort of focus of today is just to give you an idea of what can it do for you and then um, next week and also what you can expect in our sessions. Um, but before I go on to that, I thought it would be relevant not to give you my life story, but just, um, just to give you a kind of taster, really, of how did I get here? What is it that's made me think that meditation is such a fantastic tool? Six years ago, I was living in Melbourne, uh, fantastic, world's most livable city, um, really fantastic place to live. I still miss the coffee quite significantly. Sorry, England, it's just not the same. And um, on the outside, I had a really, really fantastic life. I'd, we just finished project managing this beautiful architectural home that I'd brought in on budget. It was looking fantastic. I had two healthy children. We made the decision that I was going to be the stay-at-home mum and I was doing that and I was volunteering at charity, actively involved at school, you know, happy days. But actually inside, it was a really different story for me. So every day I was dealing with massive overwhelm. My mind just was just on constant overdrive. I felt like I was on this wheel that never stopped. Um, and you know, actually when I look back at that time, I realized that I was probably suffering from depression. Um, you know, even just basic things felt really hard. And, and I was becoming not the mum that I wanted to be, not the person that I wanted to be, even while it looked shiny and great on the outside. And at that time, I was kind of lucky enough to stumble across meditation. And it became this foundational practice for me that allowed me to move from that place of overwhelm, depression, finding life really, really achingly hard every day, to feeling like I had a renewed sense of purpose, a connection to myself again, uh, better focus generally in my life, and the ability to connect with my life more. So that's why you know, it led me to kind of then study other things like psychology and mindfulness. And ultimately what I've come back to is actually this fundamental practice of meditation can be so life-changing, but for so many people, it feels like it's not attainable. That's really the, the, the essence of what I'm, I want to do is to kind of give you that. Now, what's it all about? Now, in many ways, it's essentially just brain training. So just like going to the gym and working out, you get bigger muscles and more strength. The same thing happens in your mind. The mind is a gym and meditation is a workout. And Daniel Goleman is, um, if you look him up, he's, he's done a lot of, of work and talks about emotional intelligence and meditation. Now, you know, a few years ago, if somebody said to you they were going to go to the gym at lunchtime or go for a one run before work, you'd think, mm, OK. Um, but now we kind of really take for granted that we invest in our physical health and that we train our bodies and we look after our bodies. And the explosion in meditation and mindfulness that's out there now is kind of testimony, really, to the fact that there is this shift in mindset that actually we are starting to see that we need to invest in our mental strength and our mental well-being. And this is just one tool to do that. So is it worth it? So what do you get out of it? So the kind of things that you're, you can expect when you build a meditation practice into your life is less of a busy mind. So that kind of busy, busy kind of, you know, we have this epidemic of busyness, haven't we? We're all a bit addicted to being busy. And meditation, yes, it's that pause button, but it just teaches you to just start to allow yourself to have those mini pauses, not just your meditation practice. It also helps you with that kind of energy crash, lost mojo, whether that's a slump in the afternoon or a slump in your life, it kind of gives you that extra capacity for energy. And in actual fact, so there are studies that have shown that 20 minutes of meditation, a deep meditation, is like the equivalent of four hours deep sleep. So you know, imagine having that kind of pit stop. And I, I, I think it would be amazing to get to a stage where people would say, I've got a really stressful meeting this afternoon, I'm just going to go and meditate for five minutes. And we all thought that was just perfectly what you do. And exhausted but can't sleep. Now, this doesn't apply to everyone, but for a lot of people, 
they get to bed they, and they're absolutely exhausted, but the mind, your mind suddenly goes, right, you're still now, and it starts whirring and you can't get to sleep. Or you wake up at 3 a.m. and you can't get back to sleep because your mind is on. And uh, one of the great side effects of meditation is that it does actually improve the quality of your sleep. Lots of reasons for that. For example, that you, because you are releasing little, it's like, a, imagine a balloon filled with air. It's like the stress that we put in. And it, you can just, as you meditate, you're just letting out a little bit of that air so that when you get to bed, you've just got a little bit, you've already released some of that tension. So you're ready to go to sleep and get the rest that you need. And you also will get more of this. So flow. Now, I'm sure for kind of creative work that you guys do, flow is a really essential and key thing that you need. And, you know, that kind of ability to be in flow actually relies on drawing on something inside of you and getting into that flow state. And again, meditation is a fantastic tool to connect you to yourself in that way. Um, and mental space that pause button. So something happens and you have that capacity to pause before you react is you know, so powerful. And one of the things we'll do on, on Monday is talk about how that actually works in meditation. And then connection. And when I say connection, I mean connection to everything in your life. Now, John Kabat-Zinn is, um, if you haven't heard from him, he's almost, I suppose you'd call him like the, far, the founding figure in mindfulness in the West, in that he was this medical doctor who um, you know, went over to um, India and he discovered all of these practices and he brought it into his medical practice and he, he found that mindfulness meditation practices, they actually helped with pain management and pain control and improved the outcomes of patients. But he defines um, mindfulness, which is a state that meditation cultivates, as paying attention on purpose, so choosing where you put your attention, in the present moment, so not kind of letting your mind wander around, um, without judgment. And that without judgment is really important because it's the judging and the voice in our heads that actually adds to the stress that we have in our lives. And by, by meditating, you, you start to, to develop that space and that connection to the everyday moment, which is where you, your well-being comes from. Um, so again, it's just a really powerful practice. And what we'll do in the session on Monday is there's no kind of kaftans. I'm not bringing kaftans with me or anything like that. But we're going to talk about the what and the how. So as I said at the beginning, there's a lot of misconceptions about what meditation is and how it works and whether it will work for you. So we talk about the science of what actually happens in the brain when you meditate um, and how does it work practically. And we'll also get to experience some meditation. Just a couple of short meditations. But because actually I could talk to you all day about meditation and I'm, I am of a meditation geek, so I probably would talk to you all day about meditation. But actually it's the experiencing of it that's actually going to make it feel like you understand it. And the, the final part of the session will all be all about how to make it so that you're ready to go. So tips and tools to make it work in your life, you know, this busy life that you all have. And, and you'll also be equipped with the tools to do it. So I'll, I'll give you downloads of the meditations that we do and they're also on a free app, so you'll literally be able to make it part of your life straight away. So that's the plan. Um, and hopefully, I mean, if you want to come in your caftan, you can. Um, but it's not compulsory. Thank you. Thank you.